So we take the magnesium, which we've pre-weighed, we put the lid on top of the crucible, we turn the Bunsen onto hot flame, and we heat until such time as all the magnesium is turned into white magnesium oxide. So here we know that we started with 0.3 grams of magnesium. The question asks how much magnesium oxide could we end up with? This is the maximum amount if the reaction had gone 100% perfectly. Chemical reactions never go 100% perfectly, but we're going to work out how much magnesium oxide we would end up with if it did. We're given the chemical equation of magnesium plus oxygen goes to magnesium oxide. Step one, what you do is rewrite the equation noting only the substances you're interested in. So we're interested in magnesium and magnesium oxide. So we're going to rewrite this equation to make it a bit easier. We're going to say magnesium goes to magnesium oxide because we're not interested in the oxygen. Step two, work out the relative formula mass or atomic masses of these substances. So you're told from your periodic table that the mass of magnesium is 24. And you're told from the periodic table that oxygen is 16. So the mass of magnesium is 24. The mass of magnesium oxide must be magnesium, which is 24, plus oxygen, which is 16. So magnesium oxide must be 24 plus 16, which equals 40. Write these below the substance. So we take our equation, Mg goes to MgO. I'm going to write these in red to make it clear. We know the relative formula mass of magnesium oxide is 40. We know the mass, the relative atomic mass of the magnesium is 24. Step four, above each substance, write the mass in grams that you have. So we know that we started with 0.3 grams of magnesium. I'll write this in black. And we don't know how much magnesium oxide we're going to end up with, because that's what we're working out. So we'll call that x. Step five, solve the equation for x. So we're going to rewrite this as 0 0.30 equals x. And 0 0.30 divided by 24 equals x divided by 40. So we're now going to solve this. The way we're going to solve that is we're going to times both sides by 40. So we're going to say 0 0.30 divided by 24 times by 40 equals x. x is the amount of magnesium oxide we could get if it went perfectly, which is what the question is asking us. Put them to the calculator, you find that x equals 0 0.50 grams. What that means is, if we had 0 0.30 grams of magnesium, which we did, and the reaction goes perfectly, we could get a maximum amount of 0 0.50 grams of magnesium oxide. Now that we've worked out the maximum amount of magnesium oxide I could have got, which is 0 0.50 grams, we're going to work out what percentage yield I did get. And we work out the percentage yield by the amount that I actually got from the reaction, from the maximum amount I could have got if the reaction had gone 100% perfectly. So we now need to go and weigh the magnesium oxide. So now that we know that I have 0 0.36 grams of magnesium oxide and we know from the calculation we've just done I could have got 0 0.50 grams of magnesium oxide, we can work out the percentage yield by putting the numbers in the formula. So the amount I actually got was 0 0.36 grams. The amount I could have got if we actually got 100% perfectly is 0 0.50 grams times that by 100. Put that in the calculator and find the percentage yield for the reaction I've just done is 72%.